Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Brown, Congressman from the Georgia's 10th Congressional District. In the last six months, the White House has presented a health care plan to the American people through television specials, speeches, news conferences, and new media tools. Tonight, the President used a joint session of Congress to continue selling the same plan as he has done month after month. You see, there's a reason that the American people aren't buying this product. After auto and bank bailouts, intervention in our housing markets and car businesses, and so-called stimulus plans and trillion dollar budgets, the American people are having buyer's remorse. They see that government is not the best solution for financial woes or for implementing real health care reform. You see, they believe that we can improve America's health care system without turning it over to the government. I spent August listening to my constituents. After hosting nine health care town halls in my district, the message is clear. Americans want health care reform that lowers their costs. They want access to more doctors and treatments and less interference from insurance companies, special interests, and of course, from Washington politicians. They want the doctor-patient relationship protected. And for those uninsured, I heard compassionate calls for an affordable approach to help those who truly need it. After a summer of feeling lost in a sea of sound bites and statistics, the American people want to hear concrete specifics from the President about his plan and answers to many questions that frighten them. Answers to questions like, how many millions will really be forced off of their current health care plan? And am I one of those likely to be impacted? How much is this bill really going to cost? Is America going to be in a financial position where my grandchildren and children will not be saddled with the debt of this bill? How much more red tape is the government going to put around me and my physician. Unfortunately, the American people did not get the answers that they need tonight. So where do we go from here? Well, I have a health care plan that will lower costs and expand access to affordable health care. And many of my colleagues do too. I even brought my proposal to the House floor tonight to show the President that there are alternatives. We have offered a broad range of proposals that I hope that the President and the Speaker will take a good, long, hard look at all of them. Let's discuss solutions that end wasteful defensive medicine practices and increase access to physician care by stopping frivolous lawsuits. Let's discuss how best to break down the barriers that small businesses face when trying to provide their employees with the very best coverage. Let's discuss how Americans can keep their current coverage if they like it and make it easier for them to transport it across state lines or even from job to job. Let's have a conversation about expanding group choices and enable Americans to form groups to purchase low-cost health care, such as insurance through clubs, alumni pools, or even through their credit union. There are so many options to discuss. Let's talk about offering incentives for prevention and wellness. Let's talk about making all health care expenses, including insurance, tax deductible for everyone. You see, there are many ideas to debate. Those of us fighting for affordable reform stand ready to work with the President to fix the health care financing crisis in America. I hope that the President opens his door to our ideas and opens his ears to the calls from Americans for reform without a $2 trillion government experiment.